Uh, welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to tell you about the date and time and hours written uh, so it is the date column and here we, we have to show uh, like i am taking a static data i have declared one array and i have taken a product data created that of the key and we have to show it in on the ts on the html side so I am going to write a function for calculating a date, time and hours and minute. So calculate def, curly braces for opening or making a function inside on the TS side. Let's start. I am going to take a time which is the starting time at present time. It will calculate and it will give the present time, whatever the current time is going. and uh, they don't get time so it will return it will give us the current time whatever the time is happening okay and i'm taking one another variable and and inside that i'm going to take the uh, data means the time which i have declared statically on the ts side or in my your case that data is going to be come from the api or the server side so i have taken a static data from the ts i have declared that array and inside that array i have taken a one static time so we have to get that end time or whatever the get time from the html side from the data which we are getting from our html and we have to return the data on to ts and from the ts we have to return again on the what uh, that time on the estimate so that we can see that time so please watch this video more for it and new date dot get time so now we have to return that we have to get that data which i have declared statically on ts side so obj because all of the data is i hope that you all know that how to get the data in the uh, html on the table side so we have to write that function name calculate def and obj so we are getting all of the data which is coming from the ts side obj and we have to get that data into calculate div that inside that function so just write one of the keyword i'm writing in data so inside that data all of the data which we, which i'm getting from the html to that inside that function and the all data come inside that function and we'll get the stolen data date and i'm console we let's see that what we are getting inside that function so console dot log data dot data date so see we are getting all of the data okay and it's going to get returned in ts side so now we have to only concern about our time because we here we are calculating the time so product date created this is the key of our date which i have declared so i'm copying that variable uh, copying that key name product date created and let's see that what we are getting on console so let's see that so now we got our uh, date created whatever i have taken on the ts side now i'm going to uh, write that data date dot product that created inside that new that in the end variable because we need to calculate and we need to calculate the time difference between our present time and the time which we are getting from the ts side so i have declaring once again let time variable time variable and start minus and so in that way we need to calculate the difference of the time 
and again I am going to write one variable for calculating a day because if there is a difference of our present time and static time in a day so it will give us the day difference so I'm writing that mat dot floor time and that the difference which returning that start minus end time divided by 864 you can see that you can which will return up which will give us the difference in days because if the difference of the present time and the static time is very large so it will return it will calculate us and give us the day so it is for calculating the day and it's for calculating hours so you can so we are going to calculate hours if there is a difference in because it will give us a difference of time in terms of hours so time that is the difference of the present and static time and let time is divided by 86400 and again we have to take one bracket again so I think divided by the three six I think three, yeah three six zero 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 and bracket closed it will calculate our now I'm again writing one other thing to calculate a minutes which will calculate a minute for us because if we want a difference in minutes so we can get the minute difference also Math dot flow time again you have to divide it by eight six four zero 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 king zero and Again divided by divided divide it by three six zero 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 and we have to divide it one or we once again with six zero 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 and bracket close so it will calculate a minute difference in minutes difference of time in minutes minute calculate so I'm writing it for your understanding that what we have calculated so far day calculate hour calculate and minute calculate now uh, let's see that what we are getting inside that variables so console.log def day because we need to see this that what we are getting inside that so it's for calculating a day I'm just copying and pasting it for for just seeing that what we are get, what we are getting a value inside diff day diff hour and diff minutes whether we are going to whether we are getting a same things that what we want or not so diff day diff hour diff minute and 
and a minute for calculating a minute so we are writing a minute and here we need to write a hour okay so let's see on console okay so we are getting a time difference in a days in hours and minute okay so it will get so we are getting the result now again we need to return that diff means difference of days and hours on HTML so that we can see that written data on our dome side on and on our screen so let's let's watch it again if so I am just writing a logic of our um, difference in days is equal to one or is greater than is greater than or equal to one so we need to return a we need to show the difference in time in terms of days return a diff day because if the difference in times in days and it is it is equal to one or greater than equal to one if the difference of time so it will return a difference in days okay and if it's not if it's less than so it will return in terms of hours whatever the time difference it will return in hours so I am writing in our diff hour so it will return our data it will return a time difference in terms of difference of hours okay so let's see what we are getting in on our screen see we are getting the difference in days in an hour so because okay so on console let's check it let's see it's a day difference it's a day difference it's a day difference and 21 is a hour difference because here our day is less than one so we are getting hours time means time difference in terms of hours so we need to write one um, what we can say text also strings also we need to return that so we can get uh, idea that whether we are getting a difference in terms of day time difference in terms of days or time difference in terms of minutes according to our logic that we have right over here so I am taking one key parameters inside our time function I have right I'm taking one our time for returning strings in terms okay so I'm taking one another function to return uh, uh, our text that whether it will show the uh, days ago or time or hours ago let's let's see that our time object so we are uh, again we are getting all of the data object and inside the hours times and I'm just copying and pasting that function and again we need to show that that whether we are getting a time distance time difference in terms of uh, days or minutes so I am taking that key dot product created get time so it will calculate all over the time all of the things are seen I'm just uh, removing it because it's none of the use of it and if date difference if our difference of days is equal to or greater than one so we have to return that key value with a text that days ago which will return a days ago days ago and it will return in if our time difference is less than one day so it will return a key which will return a text a hours ago so okay so it will be a help for us okay now it's exactly showing that it is a days different and it is a hours difference so 193 days ago 14 days ago 15 days ago and 21 hours ago so in this way we had calculated we have calculated the time difference hours difference okay and we can show our data 
according to that so you can do um, your time to calculate the time difference uh, when the data is coming from the server or from the APIs also I have just taken the static data st static array inside the TS side and that it's a whole function for calculate the time difference so you can calculate the time time difference by using this function by writing that function inside the angular and dynamically you can show the time difference so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this and please do subscribe my channel please thank you